and this, in a little bit. Evolution 2011 has kept me on the edge of my seat. Little, literally every time my butt touches this commentary seat, <laughs> something explosive happens that came out bad, but let's roll with it. Uh, Dago versus Kedevu. You know the phrase that always comes to my mind when we talk about this set is something you said in the dog face show. It's the hype factor. The hype factor. You just create the setup and roll. Really? You just set it up and oh. let it roll? Kendevu trolling us with evil root. He almost made us all want to root for him for a second there. Just for a second. The hype. It binds us. It surrounds us. It's like the force. It penetrates us, yes. <laughs> it's everywhere. It binds the galaxy together. The hype. Here right. we go. Daigo in red. Kendevu in white. Ooh, Ooh, catches that back dash. On him. And Kendebu, I should add, defeated Daigo in the Super Battle Opera the last time they played. It was on original arcade Street Fighter 4 rather than Super, which is out at the time on console, but that being an arcade tournament. And there earlier, you saw Daigo. He knows that buffering any medium attack into the shoulder is not a true combo. He uppercutted Kendebu right in the middle of those. And that's one of the first questions I ask about Yun is what? Oh, wow. Big opportunity here for Daigo. One, two, three, four. Bam! And a big misread there for Kidebu, uh, who, as I mentioned, did defeat Dargo in the SPO qualifier last time they met. Uh, Rufus versus rematch. So Kidebu is one of the crazier Japanese players. He's able to stand up to Dargo's pressure by taking some crazy chances. They did not pay off for him that round. Right, so Daigo now getting a little momentum, but here comes the reverse of the momentum, just off of a little low strong. Daigo oh. losing so much light. Kidebu baited the throw attempt from Daigo there, but couldn't punish it. Frame traps Daigo there. Up kicks and activation. He's gonna go for it. No. He's getting solid damage as he pushes it towards the corner. Time is running out, goes for the reset. Whoa, what is going on? But nice throw there. What's Daigo have? There's some technology here. Oh no! Daigo! I think he tried to have that uppercut autocorrect and it just did it not did do it. It was still him. in the air too long. There was no autocorrection there. And that is a painful round for Daigo because not only did he lose the round, but he used all of his super meter at the same time. He is not in good position here. It's a little break there, but he's still in the corner battling out. Let's oh. cross up. Very tricky stuff. A great block by Kadebu. Yes. And here we go! And this could be beast. Down game one. Kedevu, if he can complete this as he should, it's scaling pretty bad, but he should be able to get to the end. Oh, he drops! Oh, but he takes it with the, the up kicks. Kick. Really nothing to fear there, he may as well go for it. Kedevu and Daigo Umahara now on the brink of defeat, and who could have predicted this? If Daigo doesn't make top three, do you think that would just be the biggest upset in pro gaming history? I, it's hard to say in a tournament with so many, so many competitors, I mean, so many, you know, this is one of the biggest fields of competitive fighting history, so to say that he only made top three seems to be taking too much away from him, but certainly <laughs> it would be uh, one of the major upsets here, uh, without question. Daigo playing well here so far, but Kindabu right in it. Standing forward check, trying to predict that dive kick. Yeah, but we've all learned from the past that there is one person you should never count down, count out, and that is Mr. Daigo, the Beast Kumahara. There he was, reading that the whole way. Daigo looking strong there, but vulnerable at the same time. It was not a dominant round in any way. Difficult to dominate with the Union match. You have to take so many chances. Yeah. Mirror matches are always a frustrating match to play against. There's no distance where you are at an advantage over your opponent. It's always the... You're even in almost every situation. And, and just as I say, it's very difficult to dominate the Union match. Clear as Daigo <laughs> absolutely lighting him up with a brilliant series of reads. But we remember, he did this before... And he still ended up losing the round. Wow. Oh, the? Low roundhouse into the chain combo. Daigo answers back. And now Kindabu, also in mortal danger. Up against the beast. He's one of the I, one of my Japanese picks to say he's strong enough to eliminate him. Drops a little there. I mean, I still don't know where that low roundhouse stand roundhouse came from. He couldn't have done it by accident because he had the follow-up all ready to go. Oh no. Really, it's a slugfest here. Both men landing their trade. Look at that, literally trading. Kid in there with the jumping pierce. Oh, oh wow. What range on that? Oh, and the ultra. My God. Daigo burning the meter to make a pay says, I don't need no good He's not going to be able to juggle after that because he was juggling. Oh, yeah. In there. 
and he gets the cross and like I said, don't count Nigel out. He is at now match point. Kabu fighting for his tournament life. Eli Pro. Oh, both of them staying back just to build a little bit. Tiger would love to have that meter back because now he's up against full bar. Yeah, great reach from Tiger here. Tiger looking very good. Oh, here we go. Here's that full bar in effect. The devil's saying anything you could do, I could do better. Wow, big pair of palms. And you know what? Using that lunge punch to hit once is so smart because it actually makes it so that the damage reduction... Scales less, yes. Actually, that might not be true. I retract that statement, but here comes Daigo. Using those... Tricky stuff there, but Daigo closes it out. Is that an unblockable setup or something like that? Because he's doing that on purpose. He's whipping the jump beers into that whip normal move when he lands. He's got to some get technology. The perfect timing Looks like there. he's explaining something to him. Yeah. A smile on his face. <laughs> that was shenanigans central. Yeah. Kindabu uh, smiling.